Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a massive Christmas gift guide, which is gonna be filled with so many things from the wizarding world. It's gonna be Harry Potter, it's gonna be Fantastic Beasts, there's gonna be a lot of stuff. Also, it does mean if there are any muggles in your life that have no idea what to get you for Christmas, you can just send this video to them as a massive hint in case they don't know what magical goodies that you want. Let's get started. Started. Also, before we do get on with the video, I'd quickly like to mention that I have been involved in something recently that was really magical. I held a magical masterclass in Laycock Abbey, which is actually one of the original filming sets. It was with eBay, Lumos, and Warner Brothers, so I will leave the link down below if you'd like to watch it. But here's a quick clip of what I got up to in case you haven't seen it yet. Okay, now it's quite dark, and I'm going to need help with a Lumos spell. Lumos! Whoa. We're in the Hogwarts school. We are. Oh my god. Honestly, it was so much fun. I was living my best magical life in my Hogwarts uniform, full robes and wands, and it was really, really magical seeing all of the reactions from the kids that were involved when we were doing all of the spells. Honestly, definitely go check it out down below. And a massive thank you to Warner Brothers and eBay for gifting a lot of the things that you're gonna see in today's Christmas gift guide. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go because we have got a lot of Wizarding World things to look at. I'm gonna kick off this Christmas gift guide with some books and a lot of these ones were already in my collection and they would make fantastic presents for Christmas and the first one that I'm gonna show you is The Crimes of Grindelwald, the original screenplay of the film and isn't the cover beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous. In fact, when you take the cover off this book, it's still really pretty. You've got the Eiffel Tower there and it's just, it's beautiful, I love it. It's a really good addition to any Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts book collection. So that's the first thing. The next book is also from The Crimes of Grindelwald and this is The Archive of Magic, the film wizardry of The Crimes of Grindelwald and it's so stunning. This is designed by Mina Lima, which are the graphic designers from The Wizarding World and it's really beautiful. There's a lot of pullouts in this book that are from the films itself, but it's stunning. It's one of my favorite books from the new film and oh, it's just beautiful. There's so many interactive things like this that you can see now. This is spellbound and it's so stunning. I would love to get this for Christmas if I hadn't got it already. So definitely think about getting this one because it's, it's just beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful books that I've actually added to my collection recently. And the final book I actually got for Christmas myself last year, which is why I've included it in this Christmas gift guide, and it is Harry Potter Page to Screen. Now they do actually have an updated version of this out now, which the cover is white, and I think it has Harry Potter and Albus Dumbledore on the front, but it's exactly the same book with a few updated bits. But this is a really thick, heavy, chunky book, and it's gorgeous. Honestly, I haven't actually managed to read all of it yet because it's so big and there's so many beautiful pictures in there. It's really beautiful. This is definitely a perfect coffee table and collectible kind of book and yeah, oh, it's so beautiful. Just look at that. Mm. Next, I'm gonna be showing you a few film favorites, which I think would be a really cool thing to get someone for Christmas. And the first thing is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, because, oh, you can just rewatch it and rewatch it and rewatch it, which is definitely what I do on a monthly basis. And yeah, this one in particular is the 4K Ultra HD, but you can get them in Blu-ray and just standard DVDs as well. And yeah, so you can just rewatch all of the magic, and oh, I love it, look a little niffler, a little bowl truckle. So yeah, I think this would make a perfect gift, especially if they love the beasts from the wizarding world. Now, if you wanted to get someone something really special, if they haven't got the films already, I would definitely recommend getting the Harry Potter 8 film collection. That's right. All films from the Harry Potter universe are in here. They're really beautiful themselves, actually. So it comes in a sleeve like this and you get four cases and each one has two films because obviously there are eight Harry Potter films even though there's seven books. So we've got the Philosopher's Stone on one side and on the other side is Chamber of Secrets. Just the artwork, it's really, really beautiful. This is definitely a special gift to get someone and it just means that they can rewatch them over and over again, which I'm definitely a fan of doing myself. So yeah, this is beautiful. 
everything about it. I love it. I cannot wait to just keep watching and watching and watching. <laughs> Moving on, I'm going to be talking about some Wizarding World toys and things that are really, really fun, especially if you have some younger wizards or witches in your family that you're not sure what to get them, but they love the Wizarding World. And I'm going to start off with these, which are brand new releases. These are baby nifflers. I actually have two of these, but I'm pretty sure that you can get them in a few different colors as well. These are from Noble Collection, and there you go. They were released when the Crimes of Grindelwald were, and they're so adorable and so fluffy and soft, and they're definitely one of my favorite beasts from the film, so look how cute they are. I feel like everybody loves the nifflers, so these would be really cute to get somebody as a little plushy gift. Oh, look at them, little nifflers. Next are some items that are really, really collectible and you are gonna to have to make sure that whoever you're gonna gift these to don't have the particular characters already. But these are pop vinyl figures from Funko and I have a few of these. This one is Needy Headless Nick and this one here is Harry Potter with a little mandrake. There are so many different ones of these. Any character within the Harry Potter universe you'll probably be able to find in figure form. And these are just really, really fun to put on a shelf. They're definitely more of the affordable gifts in this video. So definitely check these out. I think they're really, really cute and you can collect them all. As you can see on the back, there are so many different ranges of these. You can get Ron, Hermione, Ginny, Gilderoy Lockhart. That would be a really cool one to get. And Tom Riddle. So yeah, there's so many of these. There must be hundreds and hundreds of different ones of these within the Wizarding World. And I just think they're a bit of fun. So these are a really cute kind of stocking filler idea. Now the final thing that I've put in the toys category actually kind of also works as a family gift as well because it's quite big and it would make an amazing Christmas activity to do and it is ah I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit this in the screen this is the Harry Potter Hogwarts Great Hall Lego set look how incredible this looks there are so many pieces and look at all the characters that you get within this set it's insane and then on the back you can see the back of the actual castle itself. I just think it's so cute. I'm so excited to make this. I am going to be making this on Boxing Day with my family without a doubt. It's just so cute. There's got little wands, you've got scabbers, little cups, the candles in the great hall. Oh, and you've got the mirror of Erised. This is a perfect gift and it just gives something to do on Christmas. Really nice magical family time. I'm definitely a big fan of this. They do a lot of different Lego sets as well. They do do smaller Harry Potter ones and they also do bigger ones than this if you're gonna go out all out at Christmas. They do the massive Hogwarts full castle, which is very exciting. But yeah, this one in particular is the Great Hall and I'm so excited. I love Lego. I think Lego's for all ages, which is what makes it a great family thing to do. So it's not just the kids, the adults can have fun too. Moving on to beauty magical favorites. Who would have known that there was such a category? Boots have recently released some really cool Harry Potter beauty products and I'm going to start with this. These are makeup brushes that look like the different character ones. So we've got Voldemort, the Elder Wand, we've got Harry Potter, Ron and Hermione's wand designed there and the brushes look really good as well. So yeah, it's the Harry Potter Swish and Flick cosmetic brushes and these retail for £20 but it's a really beautiful set. So if you have any makeup lovers out there that also really love Harry Potter, these would be Perfect, these are so exciting. I'm really looking forward to using these. So yeah, these are from Boots in the UK. They definitely do sell them online and in store. And following that range, there are also Golden Snitch bath bombs. Oh my god, I have always wanted one of these before they were even created. So this is the Harry Potter Golden Snitch Bath Fizzer. I haven't used one of these yet, but I'm very excited. It's going to be a very magical experience in the bathtub, let me tell you. Um, I'm, these cost £6, so oh, they're beautiful and it's really, really big. I'm excited to see what it's going to do in the bath water, what it's going to smell like. Look, there's even a little Golden Snitch kind of cut out on the top, which is really, really sweet. So again, another nice little stocking filler idea for your fellow Harry Potter fans. Really, really love that. The next category is clothing, and how could I not start off by talking about this jumper that I'm currently wearing? This is from Geek Store, links down below. This is so magical. We've got Hogwarts on the front and it has the moon, but it also has these very magical candles on it, which 
they do something very magical. You're not even ready for it. And I'm gonna do a spell to show you what it does. Nox. Luma. That's right, this jumper lights up. They have LEDs to light all of the candles up. It's definitely a big showstopper if you wanna to go to any Christmas parties, but this would be so cute to wear on Christmas day, around Christmas dinner, and you're just there twinkling away. It's so cute, it's definitely my favorite Christmas jumper. I'm gonna be in this a lot. And the sleeves even have Hogwarts on, and there's more candles and snowflakes. I just love it, isn't it magical? It's so cozy as well. Ah, love a good Christmas jumper. Definitely recommend getting this one if you have people that are obsessed with Hogwarts. <laughs> the next Christmas jumper is actually one that is also from Geek Store. So they do do a couple of different designs. This one in particular says all aboard the Hogwarts Express and it says London to Hogwarts and it has the Express there. And here are the sleeves. It says nine and three quarters. You can just about see that there. <laughs> and it's just so cute. Everybody loves a Christmas jumper and I personally love a magical Christmas jumper and these are just perfect. They are so, so good and I want it to be Christmas all year round so I can just wear these all of the time. So yeah, this is the second one and I have a third, yeah, I have a third Christmas jumper for you guys. Now, this one I actually purchased yesterday from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London and it was in the gift shop. I've been eyeing this up for a long time but I finally caved in because it's nearly Christmas. It was a treat yourself moment. This is not your stereotypical kind of Christmas jumper like this one or the previous one I've just shown you. It is Harry's Christmas jumper which has been knitted by Molly Weasley. These are really beautiful, really well made and Oh, look, you can get the Ron version of these as well, depending on which one that you want to get. Ron's is a maroon kind of color and it has a big R on the front, but I could not resist getting Harry's. I just think it's so cute. This is the more expensive out of the three Christmas jumpers that I've shown you. This one retails for 70 pounds. You can buy these online as well and they are hand wash only. So just note that if you are gonna get some of these jumpers, especially this one as well, because it has LEDs and a little battery pack in there too. So, oh, I am just gonna wear Christmas jumpers from now until New Year and I'm not even sorry about it. The final category of this Christmas gift guide is probably the most exciting one for me personally and that is replicas and collectibles and these are things that are definitely on the more pricey side if you're buying them for other people but if you want to splash out there are definitely some beautiful things within here so let's have a look at the first thing. This is something that is brand new to my Wizarding World collection and it's actually from the brand new film Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, and it is Grindelwald's pendant. I'm not going to talk too much about this pendant in particular if you haven't seen the film, but trust me, it's a key thing, and it's really beautiful, and it is wearable, and it's so, so pretty. I have actually been wearing this quite a lot, but it will be really nice to put on a shelf as well. And it actually comes in a really pretty box. So on the back, it says the Crimes of Grindelwald and you can use that as a lid as well. But I like to keep mine in its packaging. But it's really, really pretty. It's a beautiful pendant and it is something that you can just wear day to day if you wanted to, but it is a collectible. <laughs> The next replica that I'm going to discuss is the mad -Eye Moody Hip Flask. This is his from the Harry Potter films. You would have seen this a lot in the Goblet of Fire. And it does have a trigger on the back of the flask that you can press and it opens. I wouldn't recommend actually drinking from this. It's purely for display purposes. It's a replica. I definitely wouldn't put fluid in there or any liquids of any kind, but it's really nice to have because a lot of these replicas do look just like they do in the films. And it's like you have a little piece of magic in your own home. And this is just really fun. I really like the design of it. And it's like, I've just stolen it from mad -Eye Moody and it's got polyjuice potion in it, maybe, who knows? <laughs> so yeah, I think this one would be really fun. Again, this is brand new to my collection and I have wanted this for quite a while, so I'm really pleased about it. And it's just a little bit of fun as well. And oh, you guys know how I feel about replicas by now. 
Next is something really special and it's actually something a lot of you guys still ask me about which is my time turner. So this one I always wear in my videos is actually part of the Harry Potter collectibles. So this is the Time Turner prop replica, authentic gold plated prop replica, collector wood display included. So it comes in a really nice little display box, which is really sweet to put on the shelf. And the chain is 20 inches long and it looks like this. This is the exact same one that I always wear. And it comes in this beautiful, magical box. And this would be so beautiful to get someone as a present. In fact, my Time Turner was gifted to me as a gift and I I just, I loved it so much and I've been wearing it ever since. So if there's someone special that you'd like to gift a time turner to, this is the one that I wear in particular. There are loads of different versions of this. There's some that are more expensive. There are some that are cheaper, but this is the main one that I would recommend getting that special someone. Up next is something that I swore to myself I would not start collecting, but I actually have, I think, two or three of these now, and it's from the Magical Creatures range from Noble Collection. And here is the Cornish Pixie one, and oh, it's so sweet. I've wanted this one for so long. These are really cool. They come in display cabinets, and they're basically collectible, so you can put them all together so that you've got all of your creatures together and you can look at them. And what's really cool about these is you can actually take them out of the box and they do come away from the base. At least that's how it is with most of them. I assume this one would too. And I just think they're really special. It's like a little statue and I think they make really nice kind of decor pieces if you're into that kind of thing. But oh, they're just really magical. I think they're so awesome. So yeah, it says removable cover and and creature so you can see at the back that he will come out and same with the case too. Oh, aren't they lovely? You can get so many of the creatures. You can get the Niffler, the Bow Truckle, I'm pretty sure you can get a Dementor, you can get an Okami, a Fwooper, there's so many. Definitely go check them out because they do a lot of them in this particular range and I just love the Cornish Pixie. I love the colour blue um, that he is. It's a very magical and the paint job's really good as well actually and it has clear wings it is like I've caught my very own Cornish Pixie. Now, what would a magical Christmas gift guide be without wands? That's right, this would be such a cool idea to buy someone because if you found out their favorite character, you could gift them the character's wand. Now, the wand in particular that I'm gonna talk about today is the Albus Dumbledore wand from The Crimes of Grindelwald. This is one of my ultimate favorite wands in my collection and they do come in these beautiful display boxes with their names on the end and they're just stunning and it'd be really fun to wrap up a wand shaped box if you ask me. But yeah, so inside it comes with this gorgeous kind of silk wand magical goodness and then inside you do indeed have the wand. This one is definitely one that I think a lot of people would love if they love Fantastic Beasts and just Dumbledore as a character to be honest. This one in particular has metal around the ends and if you want to see all of the Fantastic Beasts ones from the Crimes of Grindelwald I do have a wand showcase video so definitely check that out. If you want to see some of the others to see if which one that you want to choose for somebody who knows but I think a wand what a magical gift to get on Christmas day. I just think that's so cute. Oh, fills me with joy. Now we're gonna move on to some pretty big replicas. So obviously these are definitely on the higher end scale regarding price. If you really do want to treat somebody or maybe you just wanna treat yourself because I'm all for that. This is really special and they are still available. This is the Newt Scamander limited edition case. So it's a replica of Newt Scamander's case and it's so stunning. We even have the Muggle Worthy switch here. None of this is like plastic. All of these bits that look like metal are metal. And here it says limited edition Newt's Commander and they both work so you can go bonk and they do open and there is a magical section inside. These come with a map and a scarf and also a certificate of authenticity. And this bit here is actually a switch. So when you move it, it will kind of take that tray and hide it. So there you go, it's not there anymore. It's a magical switch. I would freak out if someone got me this for Christmas. Obviously I already have it, but if I didn't, I would have like screamed the house down 
and gone and hidden in my room with Newt's Commander's case. It's really beautiful. The quality of these are really, really high, which I guess shows in the price as well. There are 5,000 of these in the world only, but they definitely are still available. I have recently checked. I will leave all the links down below for you, but that would be a perfect gift. Could you imagine just opening Newt's Commander's case on Christmas? Oh my God, it's definitely high-end for the bigger collectors out there. Now, if that case was a little bit too pricey, which I'm sure it might be for quite a lot of you guys watching, this is a really nice alternative. And this is a Harry Potter trunk. And you can actually get these personalized. So as you can see on the end, it has my initials. And these are actually made out of wood and it has proper rivets and faux leather and it has the Hogwarts crest on here. And they're really, really beautiful. This is the other end, there you go. <laughs> oh, it's so large. Um, so yeah, it's got the handle and again it has these nice little clips this is a lot cheaper I think these retail for about 59 pounds or if you want to upgrade it you can actually buy these with loads of collectible things inside depending on whoever you're buying it for whoever their Hogwarts house is so yeah this is a nice alternative if you want to get someone a trunk instead of the Newt Scamander case these are so beautiful and they really do feel magical and it feels like it could go to platform nine and three quarters and just jump on the Hogwarts Express with it. So these are really nice. These are from the platform nine and three quarters shop in London. You can get these on their website as well, which is always a bonus. And I just thought I would show this off because it's beautiful and this would make a perfect gift. You could even buy this and then put everyone, every other Christmas present that they have inside of it. Ah, oh, imagine, imagine. The big finale of replicas and collectibles. <laughs> This is something I have wanted for years. And now I have it. Thank you very much, eBay and Warner Brothers. Um, this is the ultimate collectible. And <laughs> especially if you're in Gryffindor, that, though it doesn't really matter which house you're in, to be honest. This is, you might be able to guess now that I've said that, the Gryffindor sword. Yes, this is Godric Gryffindor's sword and it's absolutely beautiful. Obviously it is blunt, so it's for display purposes only. I feel like I do have to say that, but it's absolutely beautiful. Look at the handle. Now this does come with a chain that goes from the handles and then it has a crest on the top, so you can hang it that way, but it does have the hanger little things on the back if you just wanted to display it a different way. And it's so beautiful. I'm in love with it I just want to like hug it forever this is definitely on the more expensive side again I, I will leave everything down below for you to have a look at but this is beautiful if you know any Gryffindors in your life and you really really want to treat them this is definitely a big big treat then this would be incredible it's so beautiful and it comes in this kind of faux wood frame and it's even got print on the corners which makes it a little bit more elegant and isn't it stunning? It's so big that I can't fully show you, but it's gorgeous and it is made out of metal. Um, it's beautiful. It says Godric Gryffindor down here and it has the holder here that says Harry Potter, um, which you do unscrew to get some of the packaging off when you first get it. But the handle, can we talk about the handle? It's got all, oh, it's beautiful. There's, there's not much I could say about this except it's a prop replica, which I love, and it's stunning. It's so stunning. It's really, really beautiful. So I thought I would end this video with kind of like a magical bang. It's just glorious, and now I feel like I've got my very own, well I do, I have my very own Godric Gryffindor sword. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. This is not a toy, by the way, so I would definitely not buy this for young wizards and witches. This is for the hardcore collectors, in my opinion. So, yeah. And that's it. You have got to the very end of my magical Harry Potter Wizarding World Fantastic Beasts Christmas gift guide. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Are you going to send this to any muggles to hint what you want for Christmas? <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Is there anything else that Harry Potter Fantastic Beast Wizarding World fans should get for Christmas. Leave your suggestions down below because then everyone else can read down there for other suggestions. I think that would be really awesome. I'm so excited for Christmas. I hope you guys are too. I will see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye!